Well, it's been a long time coming. So we're pretty excited about everything now being able to get open and us to be able to actually showcase a brand new building and a brand new opportunity for people to be able to choose Seattle to come to their convention. We broke ground in August of 2018, really started selling then. COVID kind of put a little bit of kibosh to that, uh, but we really started selling both buildings. And for convention business, it's anywhere from two to five years for the most part to be able to secure that. We were turning business away before because we just couldn't offer the dates in the space. And what happens is you have three, you know, three days worth of people and you have this nice peak and then a valley because you're moving out and you're moving in. And this, this really helps us to be able to level that out and supply that additional space for us to be able to book things. Most conventions, if you've ever been to uh, bigger convention centers, they are very, very linear. And most of the exhibit halls are, you know, could be three or four blocks long. What we have basically is our exhibit hall stacked. So we have 150,000 square feet, and then we have another 100,000 square feet. We have two levels of meeting rooms on top of that. And then we also have our, then our 60,000 square foot ballroom on top of that. So that's really how the building is stacked. And what we've been able to do with opening this up like this is you can see where you need to go, which is really nice. And so you can see the meeting rooms are all, all lined up and named and you can see the floors. But being so open, it's really easy for you to go. Well, I know the ballroom's up there and the, the two levels of meeting rooms, I can see that. So it's going to be really easy for me to get around. I think what the convention center allows to have happen is we start bringing people back downtown. And we bring them hopefully a downtown on a weekly basis, which will really, I believe, help energize the downtown core, along with all the other things that are happening with Pike Place Market, with the waterfront development. We're just one of those, I think one of those linchpins to help that whole process get really get reinvigorated for downtown. We want to be able to do that. We think that we're going to be able to be part of that scenario, working with the city and the county to really make that happen. So we're excited about that opportunity. We think it's going to be one of those things that we'll be able to do.